So we want to spend just a minute just finishing up some thoughts about printing. And printing is one of the more complicated sort of output things that you can do as, a, as an artist or designer. And there's, again, a million different ways that you can accomplish the goal. So remember, your primary task is to be a problem solver. So always try hacking different things, watch tutorials, think through workarounds if you can't figure it out. But after we've gone through all the steps in InDesign to package to print our uh, booklet or whatever project we're working on. Remember it kicks out your IDML file, a PDF file with uh, just each each page as its own separate page as opposed to the spreads. But if we go through all those steps you'll end up with a with a PDF that has um, everything kind of laid out in in a spread kind of a format, right? And so you're gonna end up with instead of something that looks kind of like this where you have each page kind of on its own, you're going to end up with a full spread that will have the two pages sort of two up next side by side next to each other. So um, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just try to try to print this thing out. There's a whole bunch of different ways that, that you can do that. Um, but again, you probably want to go to file, print, and then whichever printer you're using, if it's a home printer, if it's uh, something else, you can um, kind of sort all that kind of thing out. But you can see here we've got sort of spreads laid out with how I have this thing organized. Um, or you could just go with single sheets. Um, depends on how you're going to want to handle that. But um, you can select fit it on there. But the main thing you want to do is go here to page setup. And you can click through all that. And just pick your size. So like a tabloid is 11 by 17. You can choose whether you want it to be landscape or portrait. Click OK. And so now the piece is going to kind of kick out of there in, in one, um, you know, just one on each page. And it's going to give you eight different pages. And it's going to fill up that eight and a half by 11, or I'm sorry, that 11 by 17 piece of paper. So, you know, there's lots of different sort of things that you can choose to like goof around with here. But the idea is that you're going to have to figure out what you want it to look like if you're going to do printing on both sides of the paper. So again, to do that, um, you know, you can click this button and make sure you flip it on the long or the short edge, depending on how it's oriented and laid out. Um, if you're going to print it on inkjet printer, you know, you probably don't want to do both pages. Maybe you want to create an accordion fold book or sort of um, sort of stick the pieces together in a certain kind of a, um, uh, like a binding method that allows you to do that. So it's really kind of up to you about how you're going to organize your printing for this project and make sure that it all kind of kicks out of there correctly. Um, and so make sure that you ask questions, experiment. I always try to print this in uh, just a couple of pages on black and white and make sure it's working right before I spend the money on a good, uh, on an expensive piece of uh, colored printing on good paper. Um, yeah, experiment with different kinds of paper, but remember the secure print, like S Seattle Pacific University MFP printers will not pull through really heavy duty papers. It's got to be stuff like cardstock and you, you know, things like that. So you got to make sure you kind of know what you're doing. Make sure you select heavy paper when you go to print. Um, there are a billion different like options that you can choose in here in the page setup and, uh, you know, all that kind of thing that'll help you, um, yeah, just kind of figure out what it is that you are going to try and accomplish. Right. And so, yeah, make sure that you, um, play around with all this. These things always change over time. So, um, you know, here you can go in here and you can like, choose paper handling and where do you want the pages to come from and um, what page size you're going to pick. Uh, you know, the paper feed, you could select the bypass tray and you can choose all these different heavy papers, that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, glossy paper, there's all the different options. So, and it'll change it a little bit. So, just be thoughtful, kind of troubleshoot, problem solve your way through it. Don't put this off till the last minute before a project's due and see if you can come up with a good, um, you know, good solution to uh, the problem.